Several hundred Californians say they started hearing ringing in their ears after getting a COVID-19 vaccine. Now they're wondering if tinnitus should be listed as a rare side effect. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain the link regulators have made to one vaccine, but not the others. San Diegan Andy Heil says the sound started about a month after getting his first dose of the Moderna vaccine. I was sitting on my couch on a like quiet Saturday and all I could hear was like this really loud hissing and I was like, this isn't right. For LA based director Damone Pablo, it was three days after his second dose, the sound of a jet engine in his left ear. Even talking to you right now, it's buzzing in my ear, almost louder than our conversation. The two Californians are among more than 10,000 people in the U.S. who have submitted a report about tinnitus to the CDC's database. Most were after the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. A few hundred were after Johnson & Johnson. For context, that's about one report for every 20,000 vaccinated Americans. And tinnitus has been a mysterious condition for a while. And I've talked to top doctors at UCLA, um, at various ear institutes. They don't know why people had ringing in their ears before COVID even happened. The CDC estimates nearly 15% of the public will experience some form of tinnitus. It can be caused by lots of things, head injury, sinus congestion, stress, anxiety, autoimmune diseases, and high blood pressure. People get it after viral infections. People get it after vaccinations of other types. People will get it sporadically. And so what's always difficult to figure out is whether these cases that people are talking about are because they had a vaccine or because they had some other viral infection or because some other trigger triggered it. UC San Diego infectious disease expert Dr. Robert Schooley says it's possible some of the cases were caused by an unexpected immune response to the vaccine or inflammation. But he suspects most cases of post-vaccine tinnitus are probably a coincidence. Some of these tinnitus uh, reports happened within less than a day of the vaccination, and that would be way too fast for an immune response. Immune responses take uh, usually a week or two weeks. In August, both the FDA and the European Medicines Agency added tinnitus to the list of possible side effects to the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine. But regulators say there is no causal link to the vaccines from Pfizer or Moderna, although they're constantly monitoring the data. I do think the vaccine's safe. None of us are saying the vaccine's not safe. We're just saying, hey, this may be a side effect that may affect some people, some subset of people. Maybe there's something you can do to help it. Damone Pablo says the overwhelming evidence supports getting vaccinated to save lives, and he doesn't regret getting the shots. He just wants a way to turn the engine off. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Doctors do say that tinnitus often resolves with the time and the virus itself has been linked to hearing issues. A study in the UK estimated nearly 15% of people infected with COVID developed tinnitus. About 7% of infections led to hearing loss.